Hello, I am Dr. Sabish Razi, your math teacher. Thank you very much for liking my video lessons and your appreciation has given me encouragement. Today's topic that I've come up with is on fractions. Fractions are a topic which is not really well taken by the majority of students. Many students would simply not want to do fractions and those who can do it, they, don't, they know the mechanism but sometimes they do not know what actually is happening. Today's lesson will give you an insight, the concept. You will see what the fractions are and how to represent them, how to handle them, how to solve questions on fractions. If I ask you, uh, which fraction is bigger, 1 over 2 or 1 over 3? Hold your answer till I tell you what is 1 over 2 and 1 over 3. In fractions, we take the quantity as a whole. If I use this sheet as a whole and I want to cut this whole into two equal parts, so what I do I fold it into this and then I tear this sheet into two equal parts. Now there are two the equal parts. So this is a half. How do we write it? We write here this is the name of the family half and how many sheets are here one and if I have if I have both of them now this quantity is two halves similarly if I have another sheet a whole and I want to have thirds, three thirds. So this is three thirds. If I cut this sheet into three equal equal three equal parts. So the name of this fraction is one over three. Three thirds, it's the name of the family, and the quantity I have is one third. Now, if I have, I have two thirds, so this number, which is called denominator, how do you spell it? D E N O M I N A T O R denominator and this number is known as numerator n u m e r a t o r numerator so this tells how many pieces of this family so there are two pieces of thirds so this quantity is two third in the beginning i had asked you which is the larger of the two 1 over 2 or 1 over 3. Now I have already prepared. This is 1 over 3, this is 1 over 2. So let's check the size. You can see that 1 over 3 is smaller in size as compared to 1 over 2. So you can see that when the denominator is larger, the fraction becomes smaller. And we can write this fact as 1 over 3 is less than 1 over 2. I have specially designed some material for you to explain what fractions are. I am using this sheet as a whole. Now if I fold this sheet and cut it into two halves, then I will get two halves of this size 
Now these two halves make a hole. And if I cut this sheet into three equal size thirds, then these three thirds will make one hole. And I'll show you more fractions on the board. You will see that two halves make one, and this is a half. Three thirds make one, and this is a third. Four quarters make one, and this is a quarter. Name for half, third, and quarter are special, but when it comes to six, sixth, there's th. This is a very funny sounding word. Sixth. So these are six, sixths. And this is one sixth. Similarly, you have eight, eighth. Eight, eighth. So this is one eighth. One is equal to two halves. And it's the same thing as three thirds the same as four quarters and it is same as six six and it is same as eight eighths I've left these two spaces and I want you to guess what should I write here and what should I write here now if you look into this it is going as 2, 3, 4, something is missing, and then comes 6. Oh yes, 5. So what's the pattern here? 2, 3, 4, 5, and then it is 6. And what should come here? 6, and then it is 7. And it is 5, 6, and it is 7. And if it is 10 here, what should come? Here in the numerator, 10. Now I will show you equivalence of half. Half, two quarters. Half, three sixths. Half, four eighths. Now let's record them. Let's record equivalence of half. So half is two quarters, three sixths, four eighths. Now when I want to proceed further, I can see here it is one, two, three, four, and this number should be five. And when I come here, this is a table of two. 2 was a 2, 2 2 is a 4, 2 3 is a 6, 2 4 is a 8, and 2 5 is a 10. You can see a very interesting relationship that this number is multiplied by 2 to get the denominator. And this is the case everywhere in equivalence of half. 2 2 is a 4, 2 3 is a 6, 2 5 is a 10. And if I continue, it is 6, this is 12. And I can continue like that. Similarly, if I have equivalence of thirds, so if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, in the denominator, the relationship between the numerator and denominator is one is to three. So three. 1's are 3, 3 2's are 6, 3 3's are 9, 3 4's are 12, 3 5's are 15, 3 6's are 18, and this way I can continue. Now you can see a very interesting relationship. In the numerator, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and even this I can write as 1 over 1. 